What's up guys? Just coming out of the I'm just coming out of the gym this morning. Man, it's cold out here. Alright. Guys, a few things I want to talk about today. Today, again, every motherfucking day in the gym, fucking training my mind to take on the world, because guess what? The world is tough. The world is hard. You know, and there's so much fucking negativity around you. You have to do whatever you can to feed your mind with all this stuff to help you push forward no matter what. And this guy cleaning windows looking at me saying, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> oh shit, my, my bag is going crazy. You know? So guys, every single day, you have to keep feeding your mind. And if you're one of these people that looks, looks always keep looking for that strategy, what's, what is that strategy that's going to make me money? Is it a forex strategy? Is it an options trading strategy? It's not the fucking strategy, it's you. Right? It's you. Because guess what? Once you understand how the markets work and truly work, you can trade any market because any market out there is in the is in the alignment of every single market is the same thing. It's not like oh well this strategy is going to work on the forex market, but it's not going to work on the options market and blah 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 blah. No, what it's all about is this: is that is that once you understand. A forex market, an options trade, whatever, it all requires you, or most of the time anyway, requires you to have some form of direction to get it. If you do a CFT trade, if you just buy options, if you buy the forex market, if you buy the futures market, it requires you to get the direction right. So guess what do you need? You need a setup on the chart, right? So that's set up on the chart, that's set up on the chart. If it's going to work in the forex market, it's going to work in the futures market. Oh, well, this doesn't work on the futures market because it's different. This, 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 that, that. Are you fucking seriously? Are you fucking serious? Serious? Because here's, here's the facts. The same damn motherfucking humans, the same damn motherfucking machines are trading every single market out there on the planet. And it's the same formation. And I don't, get, I don't give a damn what you say. I don't care who you are. I said this market doesn't apply to technical analysis. And, uh... <laughs> you know, it's like, do you understand what this is all about? Is that it's the same man. I'm coming a bit later today and it's like all this noise. So, do you guys understand? Do you guys understand uh, about, you know, uh, about, you know, it's, it's like how the markets work. It's like some people say, John, technical analysis doesn't work on this chart because the supply demand and blah, 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 blah. You know what? People said that motherfucking shit about Bitcoin and guess where it is right now? It's down, right? Because every single thing, once you understand how markets work, then you can trade it. And those motherfucking idiots who do, who went against me against Bitcoins, guess what? They're down so much right now. Probably, I bet you they're guaranteed there's so many people out there hurting right now and they're quiet. They're motherfucking quiet. Why? Because you guys gotta understand it's not a strategy that's gonna make you successful. It's all the foundational stuff, plus it's also understanding that no matter what market you trade, I have one directional trading system that I can apply to any market out there and truly succeed. Whether it's a five minute um, e-mini chart, whether it's an hourly forex chart, or whether it's a daily stock chart, but it's up to me. Forex, CFDs, buying options, all that sort of stuff is just the derivative that you're trading to try to earn an income from that. Make sense? So, so many people like, cause in the, I, I, what, 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 what brought this on? Studying motherfucking John Spit. <laughs> Alright, what brought this on? Is because every time I do one of these videos, you guys just like, oh, where's that Nick? Where's the update? Where's the update, John? Where's the update? Come on, show me the update. What's happening with the stock market right now? Oh, oh you know, there's, there's one day gone. Where's that damn, where's that damn silver update? It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you damn kidding me? Like, I put a video out showing you long-term path to the fundamentals of human voice. You're like, show me what's happening today in the stock market, John. What's happening right now? I need you to tell me what's going on because I don't know what's going on and I need you to tell me when to get in, when to get out. If that's the case, if you need me to tell you to get in, get out, do not trade. Do not trade because you're probably going to put too much money on. You're probably going to get in at the wrong time. You're going to get out at the wrong time. You're going to, it's all that's going to be wrong, right? So the only way you should be trading is when you fundamentally know and technically know and everything about you knows that this is a good trade. And this is the type of trade you don't just take once, but you take it again and again and again and again. And you understand that there's going to be losses. And you understand the trade you're about to take right now can be a motherfucking loss. That's just part of it. Understand, and I know some people are just like, yeah, yeah, John, I know that. No, 
fucking understand this. When you get into your next trade, understand it could be a loss. Protect yourself. Don't put a lot of money on one trade. It's like, are you serious? No, understand this motherfucking one thing. And yes, I am pissed. Next thing I want to say, guys, is that, you know, if you seriously want to get ahead in the markets, take responsibility for your own actions. Do not wait for someone to tell you when to get in, when to get out. That is absolutely just stupid and it's nuts. Because guess what? Most people out there have no idea what they're doing. No idea. Most people out there. Sometimes, sometimes you might think, I have no idea. For calling short to market for the last... But probably for most, most of the first, for, for most of the first half of this year. Yeah, you know what? I was nuts. Did I lose money? Yes. Was it much? No. Why? Because I had good trade management. There were small losses. I had good money management. There were small losses on my account. That's the reason why I'm still here today, kicking ass, taking names, and kissing motherfucking babies. All right. So if you know, if you're looking to get into a trade, mark my words. If you don't, if you don't listen to me right now, you're going to be here in December this year saying, I am motherfucking worse off because I was waiting for someone to tell me to get in. I'm waiting for my, I'm waiting for Dollar Vigilante to come again. I'm waiting for that stupid motherfucking Greg Minerino, which I'm going to be calling him out. Watch out. Watch for another video later on, guys. I'm going to call that motherfucker out. You watch. I mean, a bit of a trading challenge coming your motherfucking way, Greg. Um, <laughs> it's like, you guys understand, right? It's like, this is what trading is all about. It's a long-term momentum. It's not like about a quick bang. Right, I had someone call me just recently say he lost half a million dollars trading the motherfucking binary option market. Stay away from that thing. Right? Stay away from that thing. And guys, if you care about anyone out there, tell them to get your ass to this video and watch this watch this video. Because everything I've said in this video, whether I swore or not, I don't care. This is me, this is who I am, and this is me saying I've had another motherfucking enough about what is going on right now in this industry. And if you and if you and if you can't handle the facts that every single thing that's happened to you is your responsibility, do not trade the market. Right? If you're not going to take responsibility, if you're not putting the hard work in to set a plan, to set a good trade management, to set a money management, to have long-term have, have long vision in mind, and every single day you're working towards that long vision, then you deserve every single bit of loss in your account because you're not doing the work. The harder you work, the luckier you get. You want to succeed in the market, you have to work hard. You have to do your back testing. You have to do research. You have to have a good trading plan that you know that works. Not because someone says, get in right now because it's a good trade. Everyone, everyone's waiting for someone to tell them what to do. Don't do a trade based on what you know is a good trade. A lot of people think I'm nuts right now for, for buying calls on the VIX. It's like, no. I, I, I. But John, you don't understand. The big hedge funds managers are, are shorting it and they're keeping it down. Now, tell me that in the fucking another couple of months when it's up at 15 to $20 and I've, made, and I've made a good 50 or so percent return on my money. Tell me that much. You know what I mean? And guys, do you realize, do you realize if it, even if it gets to 15, even if it gets to 15, 15, if it, even if it gets to 17, forget the, if it gets to 17, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a multiple six-figure motherfucking payday because I know what goes on in these motherfucking markets. Stop reading articles on the website and on this internet and say, John, oh, I can't buy calls on the VIX because um, oh, this, this hedge fund managers are keeping it down. Look over the motherfucking pass and look at the, look at the actual, look at the, look at the facts for what it is. Oh, I'm not going to get into the VIX because it's because the hedge fund is trading it. Look at the facts. When does it ever, ever, for a long period of time, we're talking six months, we're talking three or four months, when does it ever stay down at $12? Hardly ever. Maybe for a few weeks and then it's back up to 15 to 20 right? And then it might drop back down again. But you know what I mean? It's, just like, it's like so many people are waiting for someone, oh, this website, this, this credential website is telling you what to do. It's like, no. Do the work you do the work and do the research and, and once you know what to do, don't second guess yourself. If you've got to second guess yourself and wait for me to tell you what to do, you're in the wrong trade. Do the work, do the research, and make sure that you're doing the right thing for your trading and you will succeed in the markets. But if you wait for people to tell you what to do and you get in, guess what? You're probably gonna have a bad trade manager, you're probably gonna get in and get out at the wrong time, you're gonna to put too much money on it, and you're gonna you're gonna be over a scoot. Like that stupid motherfucker who actually told me, oh Joe, my account's down 30% by shorting the market because of you. No, that, that is it, that's not my issue. My, I lost about five percent on my account by shorting the market. Why why are you down 30%? Why are you down 30%? You know what I mean? It's like, it's like you've got to be much smarter about your, about your training decision. Anyway, guys, here's some motivation for you for the day. Whether you like it or not, I don't care. It's, just, it's, just, it's time to actually tell you guys the truth about the market. It's hard. It is hard. Stop following other people all the time. Use me and other people as an education, but use them as education only, not as your main primary source of when to get in and when to get out of a trade.